the El Mirage this weekend so I can get pre-inspected. That means that that was going to bring it out to see um, Lee Kennedy and John Bjorkman and Jim Hooterhide. That way they could take a look at the bike, tell me if there was any major issues with uh, me getting out or the construction or anything else, see if I had to change anything. And we did come up with a couple issues. Um... Alright, so I got about 95% of the bike together. I got a couple small things I got to finish up, some bolts. I am heading out to El Mirage. I'm heading out there to get my bike inspected. I'm not heading out to take the first runs. Um, wasn't quite prepared. I had to do a couple major changes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head out there and at least let the inspectors check out the bike for the first time. Uh, I gotta take some notes, bring the bike back home and finish up everything I need to finish up so I can run it November 9th in El Mirage. And that's about two and a half weeks from right now. So that's the plan. Still about three hours out from El Mirage. I'll be rolling in around 10.30, and the inspection starts around 11, so hopefully I can get situated and get the bike out and take a moment to breathe and relax. But it's been a long run, and this last push to put this bike together has been super stressful, and it feels real good to have this all together and you know, making the final steps to go out here and run this bad boy. So this is my last chance before the rainy season comes in. So first of all, um, the rear tire is too big. Um, I switched to a new wheel with a larger tire in it and it barely fits inside the bike. So I have to actually cut the frame and lengthen it an inch, uh, which is a little bit of work, but it's, not, it's for safety. So the tire is gonna expand under speed and move it away from the swing arm and clearance the rear frame. Another thing that was mentioned was the front of the bike where the cockpit is. There's a rail it runs across and that rail basically impedes me getting in and out of it. So I need to cut that rail and pull it out a little bit so that I have more space to get in and out. Okay, so major changes, the addition of another roll hoop to push the roll hoop plane a couple of inches farther in front of my helmet to allow my head to move forward. I also cut the, these pieces off and I pulled them out from here to here, allowing it to have a wider spread, allowing me to get out of the vehicle a little bit more. 
I put a second parachute pole lever. There's one. There's the other. I've added that. And I also added these little deflectors. And if you notice, I've cut off the other roll cage hoops because they didn't need to be there right now. And I'll just add them back in. Um, these deflector hoops are left on this one because this is the firewall. Um, you can see there's no fluids that can travel um, between. It's a completely sealed piece except for where the ski runs through right here. And the deflectors are in case I fall over to make sure this piece doesn't grab into the ground and cause some sort of flipping or anything. So I've also added a plywood to the wing. Uh, we'll be screwing this down just temporarily for this one race. And the other one is I've added about two inches to the rear section to give me more tire clearance so I can add a link to the chain to provide room for the swelling of the tire. Um, yeah, the, these bad boys are actually functioning now, so I put a secondary 12 volt system in place to solely control the tip over sensor, which is controlled by this, it's just a brass ring inside of there. And when it tips over, it makes contact, pulls the relay, which then takes the whole battery and pulls those two solenoids to pull the parachutes out. So it's been a, a long little week here. Um, because I lengthened the frame, I actually had to lengthen the rear wing a little bit, which is okay because it seems to be pretty laser straight at this point, which is great. So feeling really good about the construction, feeling good that it's a lot safer, and uh, I think I'm almost ready to run, which will be in about four days at El Mirage. And we'll have to wait. Um, stay tuned. We got two days of racing, one day of tech, so hopefully everything passes. If not, I'll be scrambling like crazy. Um, yeah, that's the gist of it. And thank you so much for following along. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Every little bit helps. And thank you. See you soon. Woo!